I'm really tall, yes, really tall. I mean, like, really, really, really f***ing tall. My pants don't fit, I can't wear jackets. I can touch the ceiling without trying to dunk on you like I'm flying. It's actually pretty horrifying. I'm really f***ing tall. Number 8. Sultan Kozen First up, we have Sultan Kozen, the current world record holder for the tallest human alive. At a staggering 2.512 meters, or 8 feet 2.89 inches, this Turkish farmer makes Shaq look like a shrimp. My body is a good from God. Sultan's intense growth spurt began at just 10 years old, thanks to pituitary gigantism, a tumor in the pituitary gland that produces excessive growth hormones. Luckily, in 2010, the University of Virginia performed gamma knife surgery on his tumor. This is when surgeons use precise beams of gamma radiation to shrink malignant cells. Despite his larger-than-life stature, Sultan found love and married his almost literal better half, Merve Debo, who is 1.75 meters or 5 foot 9 inches tall. Sultan's excess growth hormone is also responsible for his acromegaly, a disorder that happens later in life after your bone growth plates have closed. It can enlarge your hands, feet, and jaw and contribute to health problems like joint pain. Because of this, he needs crutches to get around. Sultan's just one of the many incredible people on our list who have managed to achieve great heights in more ways than one. Why do some of the world's tallest people have the shortest lifespans? And how much do they eat on a daily basis? This is Your Body On, the tallest humans to ever live. Number 7. Janat Ali Measuring just one inch shorter than Sultan is Janat Ali from Bangladesh. Janat towered over his neighbors at 2.51 meters, or 8 feet 2.82 inches. And like Sultan, he too suffered from a brain tumor that caused complications throughout his life. At age 11, he started growing abnormally tall. Unfortunately, he wasn't admitted to the hospital for treatment until 2018, when doctors found the almost inoperable brain tumor. Sadly, in 2020, he was brought into the hospital unconscious and passed away at just 24 years old. For people with pituitary gigantism, Growth spurts are only half the battle. Enlarged organs can put you at risk for high blood pressure, heart problems, type 2 diabetes, and even vision loss. Number 6. Igor Vovkovinsky Next we have Igor Vovkovinsky, the former record holder for the tallest man in the United States at 2.35 meters or 7 feet 8.5 inches. This Ukrainian-born behemoth appeared on the Dr. Oz show and was even recognized by former President Barack Obama while wearing a t-shirt sporting the words, World's Biggest Obama Supporter. His staggering stature made life difficult, but it didn't hold him back from his musical dreams. He wowed judges with his performance at the Eurovision Song Contest in 2013. Igor had a brain tumor too, but was lucky enough to have surgery fairly early in his life in 1989. This extended his lifespan significantly. I would like to change the way the world adapts to different people. You just want to fit in? Yeah. Sadly, Igor passed away in 2021 at the age of 38 from heart disease. Number 5. Ho Van Trung Meet Ho Van Trung, the Vietnamese giant who was 2.57 meters or 8 feet 5.2 inches tall. Ho Van was fairly average sized until he suffered a prolonged fever at age 17. After being treated, he started to grow exponentially taller. By age 21, he was already 2 meters or 6.5 feet tall. At this point, doctors discovered he had a brain tumor. Due to his size, Ho Van was shy and mostly kept to himself. Like the other giants on this list, he also had health problems. He suffered from kidney disease and needed dialysis, a treatment that helps the body remove waste from your blood when your kidneys can't. Unfortunately, he passed away from inflammatory bowel disease in his early 30s. Number 4. Leonid Stadnik Leonid Stadnik of Ukraine was once the fourth tallest human ever, nearly as tall as Hovan Trung at 2.57 meters or 8 feet 5 inches. Leonid hailed from a small village in northern Ukraine. At 13, his parents took him to the doctor to discover, you guessed it, a brain tumor. He was fortunate enough to have brain surgery, which slowed the growth of the tumor, but his body kept growing. In an interview with GQ magazine, he mentioned his happiest times were spent gardening alone with fruits and vegetables to keep him company. This gentle giant passed away from a brain hemorrhage in 2014 at age 44. Number 3. Vikas Upal Vikas Upal was not only the tallest man in India at 2.49 meters or 8 feet 2 inches, he was also a Bollywood movie star. He made his debut in the box office hit Rangda Basanti. 
Unlike some people with gigantism, Dikas had a rare case of acromegaly, where he had proportionate hands and feet. To put that in perspective, he had size 19 shoes and his hands were 33 centimeters or 13 inches long. That's one really high five. Dikas passed away in 2007 from a failed brain tumor operation. Number two, Sandy Allen. Meet Sandy Allen, who was a staggering 2.32 meters or seven feet 7.25 inches tall. By the time I was 10, I was standing six feet three inches tall. So you short guys in the audience, just eat your hearts out. <laughs> Growing up in Shelbyville, Indiana, Sandy shot up early on in life. By the fifth grade, she was already 1.9 meters or six feet three inches tall. Her grandma had to buy her a bed that was nearly 2.5 meters or eight feet long. It would barely fit in the dining room. As a preteen, doctors discovered a brain tumor. Unfortunately, her family didn't have health insurance so she couldn't get the surgery she needed. Her athletic coaches thought she might have a promising future, but then her bones grew so quickly that she needed surgery just to walk. After high school, Sandy worked as a secretary. Her coworkers encouraged her to be measured for Guinness World Records, and she landed the title of tallest woman in the world. Her newfound international fame led to her being discovered by Italian director Federico Fellini. She played an arm wrestling giantess in his film Casanova alongside Donald Sutherland. Though she lived a tough life full of health problems, she always had a big heart, quite literally. Gigantism didn't just affect her height, it wreaked havoc on her enlarged organs. For Sandy, that meant everything from urinary problems to infections to early onset arthritis. But she soldiered on, signing autographs and taking pictures with fans until the very end. Sandy passed away at the age of 53, making her one of the longest living giantesses in the world. Number one, Robert Wadlow. And finally, meet Robert Wadlow, the tallest human being ever to live. Robert Wadlow was born in Alton, Illinois in 1918. By the time of his death in 1940, he stood at a staggering 2.72 meters or eight feet 11.1 .1 inches tall. By the time Robert was eight years old, he was already taller than his father. By age 17, he was the tallest teenager ever. Despite his enormity, Robert was known to be a gentle giant, loved by all who knew him. He could be seen driving around his hometown in a modified car with the seats removed to give him enough leg space. He was gifted a free supply of custom-made 39 AA shoes from the International Shoe Company. To keep up with his size, Robert ate an average of 8,000 calories a day. That's a lot of hamburgers. As he got older, he needed leg braces to walk. Sadly, one of them caused a septic blister on his right ankle, leading to his untimely death at just 22 years old. No matter how big or small you are, modern medicine has come a long way in helping folks live longer and healthier lives. But did you know some people are risking their lives to be a little bit taller? Would you ever consider having leg lengthening surgery? We'll go under the knife in another episode of Your Body On.